Hello everybody, my name is Sarah Cummings, I'm a training specialist at Corec and I'm here today with the Trusty S7 to run through a calibration and collimation process of your Trimble Total Station. So what we're going to do is on your controller, you should see a shot of this as well, we're going to go to instrument and adjust and the first part we're going to do is the compensator calibration and as you'll see the total station is starting to turn on all of its axes and it's going to calibrate the e-bubble inside on both faces and through all three of the axes within the total station. And what you'll see um, at the end is you should see your results and we'll just see what happens when it's done. Okay, so now the instrument's finished. If you press OK on your controller, and then you can go on to your next section, which is your collimation and your trunnion axis tilt. So um, on the screen, it'll show you current values of what you had if it was previously done. And it may be at zero if it's come back, if it's brand new, or if it's, if it's come back from calibration or from service recently. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on an object. Now I've picked a, a sign down the road there that's you want to be a hundred meters away. That is a good, you know, that's a good distance. You don't want to be pushing it past 120, 150, but you definitely want it to be at least a hundred away. So we're just going to focus on a point on that sign down the road there. Just going to look through the target, the site and get it onto a set point that we can keep coming back to. So I'm going to pick the top of this arrow. Okay. We're going to measure that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it off the target and back on. And we're going to measure that again. Okay. Take it off, back on again. Okay measure that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the face and we're going to repeat the same thing again. Putting it on the target, taking it off. I'm going to do it at least three times. You can do it more if you'd like, but that's what is a good number to do. And you're just going to use your servo knobs here on the side to help take it on and off. Do that. And we'll do it one more time. There we go. Okay, so once you've done that section there, you'll see your, your results and hopefully they should be within tolerance. So now what we're going to do is the trunnion axis tilt. So what we've got in front of us, we're very lucky today, obviously in a nice spot is the church spire and that's what we're going to use. You're ideally looking for like a th 30 degrees is like the ideal. So this is a good spot and it's quite a, a steep vertical of 30 degrees. So like before, what we're going to do is we're going to point it on, take some measurements, take the crosshairs off, bob them back on, do that. Again, we're going to do it about three times a day on each face. Obviously, we'll change the face and take the shots again. So I'm just going to bob that on the top of the spire. Again, using the servo knobs to get it to a point where we can get that repeatability. Okay, and we'll measure that. Take it off and bob it back up. And now we're going to change the face and do the same again. Okay, and again, this will give you your results. It'll give you your current values and your new values from doing your collimation and trunnion axis tilt. So we'll I'm happy with those. I've got some good values there. So I'll press accept. And I'll just give it a moment to see log it. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is the auto auto lock collimation. 
So down the road there, we have a target, um, a Trimble Traverse target about, again, we're looking at a good 120 meters away, similar to before, you know, you want to be 100, 150, but anywhere in between there is the ideal sweet spot. So we're going to fire to the target down the road. What the auto lock collimation is doing as we're shooting to our traverse prism, which is our minus 35 Trimble Traverse prism, as the EDM is coming out, it's taking the measurements off the reflective surface like your prism as it gets returned. So where your crosshairs are, the tracker for the auto lock, it can't be right in the middle of the target, so it's slightly offset. So if you have a look through your instrument with the auto lock turned on, you'll see the crosshairs are not exactly in the center of the prism. So what this is doing, it's giving you that X, Y shift to the center of the glass of the prism. So now that's completed its rounds, that's your auto lock collimation done. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, you found it really informative. If you need any more tips, help, then you're obviously always welcome to contact Corek. And thank you very much for watching.